we're going to teach you how to make granola using energy conservation techniques. So the first step is to gather all your ingredients and bring them to a table where you can prepare the meal. So we need to get oats. mixing bowls. One energy conservation technique that you can use is putting all of your similar ingredients in one similar area so you don't have to walk all around the kitchen. Another technique you can use is preparing your ingredients while seated at a table to conserve your energy. Okay, so when transporting items in the kitchen, it's important to remember as we walk to move things, we want to get close to the edge that we're putting it on and place it down so that we don't have to lean. And then we're going to put our items down before we say open the oven. So you'll open the oven first, take a step back over so I can get close so I'm not leaning too far, pick the sheet back up, and then put it in the oven. While taking things out of the oven, make sure you're taking it very slowly and not rushing through it. You don't want to get, to get too rushed and then get unbalanced or dizzy. If you need to, make sure you have a chair close by so that if you're tired before you want to take your dish somewhere, you can just take a rest and let it sit on the stove. Here are some additional tips and tricks you can use in the kitchen when you're cooking. You can take frequent breaks throughout the duration of your cooking task so you don't get overly tired at any point in the task just because of safety precautions, sit down frequently, Give yourself some time to breathe. Don't be afraid to ask others to help you out when you're cooking in the kitchen, because we all need a little bit of help sometimes. Hey, Lindsay, do you want to help me make some granola? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, great. All right, we're going to talk about some ways to keep you safe in the kitchen. Um, so as you can see from earlier, we had these really heavy bowls that were way up on top of this shelf here. A good way to keep you safe is taking heavy objects like this and moving them to lower surfaces, like say the countertop, or maybe even the first shelf in this cabinet. Another good thing to use is a step stool, which we have right here. This step stool is good because it has a handle on the top that can help you reach, or help you stabilize as you climb. So if you have to get up into this top cabinet and it's pretty high, you can hold on tight, with a good base of support, climb up one step and still hold on if you need to. You can get what you need, our oats for our oats for later. You can put it down on this step, close your cabinet, and then you have two hands for support as you climb down, and then you can just put them on your table. So it's important to try to limit reaching um, outside of your base of support because it might put you off balance.